We are trying to convert cost to revenues. When those targets meet energy transition as well, well, we close the loop, we, we get the maximum. The LifeSteam uh, prototype is uh, composed by two main sections, the pretreatment of the green waste and the steam explosion unit. So the adoption of a unique uh, automation system for, for both sections uh, was a strategic uh, decision that uh, helped us uh, a lot. It's like having uh, everything under one roof and the management of the whole process is very easy. We looked at a mid-sized plan in order to, from one side, test a continuous process, but on the other side, in order to use existing facilities so that we could speed up the implementation process. The feature that we liked more was uh, the availability of data, the easy in doing data trends, uh, in uh, making graphs with all the relevant variables. Also, the pop-up of the labs are uh, very easy to see. Uh, this was uh, very helpful in uh, managing the system, adapt uh, on the type of biomass that we need to treat every day. And uh, this is very helpful when uh, uh, you need to, to change things uh, during the process. So when uh, we have any problems, it's uh, very easy to stop a section of the plant uh, and make modification and start the production again. Our experience with the service people from Valmet was great. Every time we need to implement some modification, both on the plant or the automation, uh, they help us uh, very quickly. Uh, we had to implement some modification to the software uh, because uh, having a prototype uh, is, uh, is very tricky to improve uh, the operation of the plant. Also because uh, this application is the first one uh, so the material is also changing very quickly, uh, so we had to adapt very well. So every time we need them, they were there for helping us. Uh, even if we haven't had any major failure, we know that uh, implementing uh, or changing IO cards, for example, is very easy. It's like changing a battery in a remote control. So, and the best part is that uh, you don't need to stop the operation of the plant in order to do that. We are very happy and proud of the results. Honestly, in the initial phase, we had several uh, issues, uh, mainly related to the poor quality of the material. But now, finally, we reached like, a good uh, continuity in the operation and we work like, uh, continuously for the whole day. About the, the test in the anaerobic digestion, it's a bit too early to talk about the final results, uh, but uh, the first results are quite promising uh, and the production is uh, in line with, uh, with the production we expected. Over the next few months, we will increase the production of pretreated material and also we will increase the load of the anaerobic digestion reactor and that will uh, allow us to measure and access uh, correctly the real biogas yield of the pretreated biomass. We always want to have a competitive advantage in all the industries we operate. Therefore, we look at new technologies, but also existing technologies in other industries uh, so that can, can be applied and implemented in our activities and in our processes. Our target is always circular economy and uh, in this case using very low value material in order to have a revenue. Going uh, toward the uh, uh, circular economy and uh, sustainability is a great pattern. I think that Valmet proven to be an excellent partner in such a, an innovative project like the Lifesteam project. I think that this type of project that uh, requires partners with uh, a very strong uh, technical skills but also high level of uh, flexibility to face unexpected challenges and also sometimes unexpected costs.
and uh, we really hope to continue working with Valmet in other projects uh, for the energy transition and the circular economy. The biogas demand is growing and through optimizing our technology combined with our latest automation system, we are able to provide one unique complete package that will play a key role in the future of the renewable industry. With our new DCS, the Valmet DNA-E automation system, the output we see today at RSI can be replicated on a large scale at other plants not only for biofuel, but for many different renewable industries. At the end, we can say that Valmet's mission is to convert renewable resources into sustainable results.